Hey YouTube, this will be week 10 of the YouTube Pagan Challenge and this week's topic is what do the moon phases mean to you? Um, there's Logan, that's the beagle. Other side, Logan. <laughs> um, hi Snowbell. Come here. Snowbell wants to say hello. Um, moon phases in general, I... I'm another who views them as a correspondence. Um, I would hope that people don't view them as a limiting correspondence. Um, because often, if you're creative enough, you can make it fit with whatever the moon phase is in currently. I'm not a fan of, oh, I have this magical working I want to do. Oh, but I have to do it on next, you know, Tuesday because that's when Jupiter happens to be correct in the this astrological correspondence. That's great to me if I can look at things and it's going to be relatively convenient, but I'm not going to rearrange my whole schedule to make things fit in that. Um, I, I think that takes it a bit too far. And I, I view it the same way with any moon phase, any other astrology, day of the week, anything like that. If I need to do a working on a Monday, just because Monday is not the best for um, finances, I'm still going to do what I need to do on a Monday. Um, that being said, because of that, means that I'm not the best with those correspondences. I have to look them up if I want to do that. Generally, I just will go along with it. I mean, as far as the moon goes, I know that, you know, the waxing moon is when you're trying to bring things to fruition and the full moon is for manifestation. The dark moon would be banishing. And then the new moon is your new beginning again into some of the fruition type of things. Um, and waning is for, again, banishing and getting rid of things over a period of time. That's how I view it. But I've done where it's, say it is a, a financial thing and the moon phase happens to be in a waning phase. Then you flip it on its ear and you make it a getting rid of the things you don't want. Like, I'm not going to struggle with money anymore. So that's what we're going to focus on. Um... Yeah, I just, I don't want it to be anything that's, that's limiting. Um, it's certainly one thing that I will take into consideration, but it's not the be all end all. Um, now with, we have here in my local pagan community, there is something on the new moon slash dark moon. I think it's actually the dark moon, although i would prefer, I like the difference between the dark and the new moon too. Um, cause I view the new moon as being just that teeny tiny little crescent, but on calendars and in speaking to people that tends to be the time the dark moon equals the new moon. So it's, it, it becomes very confusing, but in my mind, I like to see the difference between the two. Um, because the dark moon is very much more the secretive side, the, shadows that's when you focus on that um, I think that's pretty much it as far as how I view the moon phases um, there's not too much to add I figured this would be a fairly short video I wish I would have had some major you know different view of things but I simply don't. I view it as the new moon is for most, almost all major magical workings can be done on a new moon. Um, I work sometimes waxing or waning. I tend to know what the moon phase is. Right now it's waxing. Um, and that's also helped, like I said, because we have something on the new moon, dark moon, and on the full moon, we have SBATs with the IEPG that we generally go to. Uh, there is a spirituality circle happens to be on the around the new moons. Um, 
and those are a lot of fun. Like we just had the spirituality circle Tuesday. So I've been kind of busy this week. That's why this wasn't uploaded yesterday, which is Wednesday, which is my normal day. But Monday I did my Costco trip and then Tuesday was filling my freezer and Wednesday ended up being more filling of my freezer and I still have stuff to put in my freezer. I just need a couple of ingredients before it can go into the freezer. Um, so today, and I ended up having a sick kid home asleep on the couch, but, and that's why the dogs, well, Logan would be there anyway, but Minion's also curled up. He's being a little therapist for my, my youngest son who has a little bit of a fever and a cough, but he came home and went right to sleep. So there's that. Yeah, so at least I have this video up for this week. That will be week 10, uh, which I find ironic because the other thing, and I should have thought of this too, yesterday was my twins' birthday and they turned 10. Um, synchronicities are fun. So, yeah, that's it for this week. Bye.